Hey folks, doing another artwork video today. Today I am doing a dual coverage of uh, Phil and Kaja Foglio, who are a husband and wife team, and I'm doing them both in a single video because their styles are very similar, and I think there actually are at least a few cards that they drew together, although I couldn't find any um, in my collection. I probably just didn't look hard enough. But, um, so anyway, in contrast to a lot of magic artists at the time, and certainly today, uh, the Foglios were much more humorous, uh, there was a lot more levity and, and a cartoonish quality to their artwork, and that really comes through in this card, which is Apathy. Um, you know, it's a card that, dis that basically d disables a creature, and, um, so this is a Phil drawing where it's this big oafish guy looking very droopy and sad. He's got the spear in his helmet with all this chaos going on behind him. Phil is really into these big pointy teeth. Well, I think we'll see that in some other uh, drawings of his. So this is really funny. And he always, I think he often signs his name in a weird way. You can see his signature here is uh, on the rim of the helmet, which is clever. Um, Cooperation. I mentioned the big teeth. Uh, by the way, Ice Age. Every white card <laughs> almost has to do with banding, which is, as any magic character, uh, any magic player knows, is one of the most useless things that they ever they ever come up with in the game. So um, I just I just built a, built a bunch of Ice Age decks, and it was very challenging to actually make a white deck because the only useful, you know, the only quote unquote useful thing in any of the white cards is banding. Um, anyway, so this is a very silly looking card. You have this. Uh, grinning woman and this grinning monster and they are cooperating because the name of the card is cooperation let's see if we can find a signature uh, yes it's so he signed it um in the runes on this guy's robe if you can see that yeah, in kind of silly letters p foglio right there <clears throat> it's pretty funny gaseous form again i think this card is still in the game as much more serious illustration now. You see this guy with this kind of barbershop pants, his very silly belt, and this hat. Um, I think similar. He's got some runes on the hat that are sort of reminiscent of this cooperation card. And this, you know, curvy, again, smiling woman um, has turned into gas, so she could come through the door and attack him. And <clears throat> normally that would be very silly. Uh, I mean, not, normally that would be very serious, I should say, but this is all obviously made very silly. And a nice little touch here is you can actually see that he has thrown his dagger at her, and it has gone through her and stuck in the door. <clears throat> so just very lighthearted, very entertaining. And this, I give him credit for being silly, but this is also just dumb. It's killer bees, and they have little tiny swords and shields and spears. Um, <laughs> it's what we call taking the premise literally, and, uh, you know, whatever. Okay, so moving on to Kaja Foglio, there's one thing, actually I wanted to start with a different card. Yeah, so, <clears throat> one thing that's interesting about Kaja Foglio is that this is a Cation Phalanx, again, it's a, another white banding card, for some reason banding was huge in the 90s. Um, but if you look closely at this card, you'll notice that every one of these characters is actually a woman, or a man wearing makeup, but I think, you know, she gave them very feminine features um, to make them all women. And a lot of Kaja's illustrations actually have women in uh, combat roles, as we will see as we go on. She's a little less playful than Phil, I think, but um, her, I would say her humor and playfulness is a little more subtle. This, I think I mentioned before in a previous video, it's one of my favorite illustrations. I really like how the eyes are switched between the woman and the tiger. Um, it really has nothing to do with the card does, but it's a nice little uh, playful touch to the artwork. Um, <clears throat> sort of similar to Phil, Kaja liked to have people smiling and again kind of emphasizing the feminine. Um, this woman is smiling and looking kind of off into the distance because she has you know things to do, whereas this guy, he looks very uncertain and he's looking at her. So kind of flipping the um, the traditional uh, gender roles in combat and fantasy, where you have the strong man and the 
independent woman, you have this female character who's she's very she's happy, she's strong, she's confident, she's looking off into the distance, ready for the adventure, and um, <clears throat> the guy is looking at her, kind of figuring out what's going to happen. And you can see that she she kind of blends into the clay in a way that he doesn't. He's he's got he has much more well defined features, and he's sort of. I don't know, I guess more concrete and um, less flexible and less powerful than she is because she still has this kind of flowing um, primordial quality to her. I know I'm reading way too much into this, but uh, it's having fun. I'm having fun. And again, not <clears throat> kind of goes against what the card actually does because you can't make two creatures out of the primal clay. You make one creature, you can change it from one turn to the next, but um, you know, you can't make two. Bird Maiden, another smiling, uh, confident, strong, happy woman who is going to fly off and kill people. Okay, so Blessed Wine, this is not a female character, but he is smiling. Um, you don't really see a lot of smiles in magic cards, and if you're looking at Kajifolio's artwork, you do. And then Energy Flux, again, The this card has to do with artifacts and not people. Um... And so the focus of it is this kind of flowing red and blue energy, but there are these subtle touches down here where she does have these two female uh, angelic characters, um, you know, framing the uh, actual subject matter of the car, which I think is cool. And then I saved the least interesting for last, but with Giant Tortoise, I just, I just did want to point out again that he, he seems to be smiling, um, you know, Kaja, both Phil and Kaja have very um, <clears throat> happy, pleasant, um, you know, fun artwork. Even she has a little smirk on her face, and uh, <clears throat> Tiger is ostensibly growling, but doesn't look terribly ferocious. And, um, you know, e even these female soldiers, I mean, she's, you can call that a smile, there is some sort of there are some hostile looks on their faces, but I would almost call this sarcasm rather than um, you know, actual anger. Like, you know, we're really strong, you're not going to do anything to us, we're cool. Bees don't smile, but they carry tiny weapons. Again, Smiling Cloud, about to kill the guy with her gassy sword. Smiling Monster, smiling, <clears throat> elaborately decorated woman, about to uh, go off and kill people. And... Um, I guess this is uniformly violent, but it's still very silly because this guy is just kind of chilling at the end. And there is a little grin on his, his, uh, what do you call that, Stein there. It's a, his Stein is a monster head, and I would call that a smirk there. So even there, even in the um, apathy, where the guy is apathetic and there's violence happening behind him, there's still the, the hint of humor um, everywhere you look and the hint of frivolity. So... I think uh, you know, a lot of the purists, in terms of people who take the game really seriously and want to you know, just have traditional fantasy art for everything, probably wouldn't be huge fans of the Foglios, but I think their cards are a lot of fun and a nice break from the, uh, you know, the usual darkness of magic. And I actually didn't pull out any black cards. I don't even know if they could do any black cards, but uh, I'm sure they have, and I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments. Okay, thank you for watching.